Know your plugins. I have to remember this because I started experimenting with new plugins before I really knew the ones I already had. Now what tends to happen is I go back to some old favorites and you'll see me using plugins. Quite a few of them have been around for a few years now, basically because I know them inside out and I know what they do. I know how to make them sound great. I know what instrument to put them on and I know what levels to boost and cut. I think one of the most difficult things is not necessarily as much about EQs and compressors, but when when you start getting into delays and reverbs and all of that kind of stuff. Because most delay plugins now, even the stock ones that come with any DAW, have many, many different sounds, many different emulations built into them. And you can manipulate them even inside of the plugin. And if you want to do even more than that, you could put a saturation across them, some kind of distortion, um, EQ, sidechain compression. You can do all of these fun things with them and treat them so dramatically different. Just a delay that you have that's stock. 